What's up you guys, Ace here, and I'm here at the historic Mirage Hotel and Casino. It's the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. The Mirage Hotel and Casino. Wow. Alright, let's find check-in real quick. And then I'm gonna hit rum bar. I'm gonna have myself a have myself a drink. Wow. Ah, oh, the aquarium just looks so nice. Love the aquarium. Wish you guys were here with me. Uh, to a solid 360 degrees. Take a look at this. All sunshine all the way through. It's probably killing me in low light mode here. But it is truly beautiful. And of course they have all the lovely tropical plants out here too that we are going to enjoy some time with. And uh, right outside the volcano, I'll show you that sometime later tonight, but it actually lights up. Alright, so going in, now we have the Heritage Steakhouse, which is uh, one of the most popular steakhouses in Ve Well, actually I'm lying about that. I have no idea if that's one of the most popular ones. But it's a very nice steakhouse, nonetheless. They're not open yet. They're one of those only dinner restaurants there. They have a, they have a cocktail hour from 4 o'clock to 5, so might think about going here for dinner tonight. I don't know. I don't know. And, of course, we have the casino here. So this is actually one of the smaller casinos in Vegas. When Steve Wynn opened the property back in uh, 1989, I believe it was, he actually uh, did not focus on the casino experience. He was really more focusing on the experience of the guests after they leave the casino. Because you can have a casino anywhere was kind of his, uh, his train of thought there. I mean, that doesn't stop them from having a lot of different things here. So obviously they have the, they got the craps, they got, uh, looks like they actually have virtual horse racing, which I've never actually played. I'd like to try that. Uh, and then when we come around, we actually come up to the Beatles Love Show here. So check this out. If you guys haven't experienced the Beatles Love Show, it's actually not a bad show. I think I prefer Blue Man Group if I get the option, but I definitely want to check out, uh, check out Beatles Love if I can. We got some live craps going over here. And of course, the center bar. So this is kind of the main bar in the casino over here. If you're just kind of chilling, looking for a little something to drink, that's the place to go. We're getting a lot of casino footage here today because there's a lot of casino to go through still. It's a relatively small uh, casino, but not that much relatively small. It's very pretty out here, actually. And it smells intoxicating. Even in the casino, it smells great in here. Uh, I think Soft 17 dealer has to hit, so the rules are a little, little different. And we, of course, have the M Life Rewards desk here. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, the M Life Rewards. And this is where you go when you inevitably lose your M-Life uh, membership card at the end of the night. And then there's some other great places to be, like Still's around here. So if you want somewhere to, somewhere to drink, Still is a cool little kind of sports bar area here. Have to check that out. It's a nice little sports bar area. And then if you guys like Italian food, Costa, the Osteria, I think their whole uh, their whole shtick is seafood and Italian seafood. That's kind of the thing. So if you dig the Mediterranean stuff, this is another nice little dinner spot here. I think it's five to five to ten. So there's that. We got a little more casino out this way. Lots of flashing lights and such. And of course, we come to my personal favorite buffet in Las Vegas is the Cravings Buffet. Why is that? Is it because of the food quality? Not necessarily, but I'm very much a fan of the fact that you get unlimited beer and wine here just going through the place. 
So there you go, there's that cravings buffet. And there's also two lines to it, so you can be an M Life VIP or you can just be a regular person. I'm an M Life VIP, so I take the VIP line. I'm sure a lot of the people are M Life VIPs and just don't realize it, but I'm sure that's, uh, that's all part of the draw there. And if we go all the way through, I think we get the stack next, which is also a uh, restaurant and bar. Restrooms over here, just past the buffet, just FYI. So if you guys ever do go to the buffet, then you know where the restrooms are at least. And then I think the next spot is Stack. Also a restaurant and bar. I'm not sure where their hours are. They might just be open all the time. But no lack of uh, no lack of dining options here. We wander towards the back, towards the pool, and we have Otoro, which is a sushi grill. So it's a grill, and it's got sushi in here. So my boy, the Muscle Tech Pat, uh, he's actually gonna come out here with his lady a uh, week after I do, and they've been playing My Vegas quite a bit too. And we're wondering about a sushi restaurant, so I might try these guys out to see if they're a good sushi restaurant while I'm here. Just go ahead and take one for the team. I think the other half of the casino is mainly going to be more food too. If we go, if we kind of cut through the casino here, I try to avoid cutting straight through the casino because it's a, it's a little frowned upon when you're filming. So I'm not going to directly cut through the casino, but I'm going to kind of cut around it. Okay, now we got the Kino Pit over here. Kino is an interesting game. Never really kind of figured out what it is. It's almost kind of like the lottery, just for just for games. It's pretty wild. I don't know. I don't really dig lottery games, so I don't play them very often. We got some video poker over here. One to 100 poker. I might be interested in doing that later. Just on the merit that I prefer video poker and I have some free play and I'd like to burn some of that too. Burn some free play here. And then of course we have generic sports bar in the center of the area here. All right. I think there's a roulette table too. There's a big roulette table. And of course the California Pizza Kitchen. So that's always a fun place to be. And then the Mirage has quite the sports book here. I always thought that MGM Grand was kind of like the big sports book one. But Mirage actually has a pretty nice uh, sports book. So if you're coming from sports bar, if you're coming from sports bar, you can go straight to the sports book. It's a good time. So you can either sit and drink and gamble different stuff, or you can sit and drink and gamble explicitly on the race and sports book, which is actually kind of nice that you can't smoke over here too, which I do dig because I'm a non-smoker. If you are a smoker, I think MGM does have a smoking area, or if not, you know, just walk like two feet to the side, do your smoking first, and then come back in later. It's whatever. They have a cigar bar here too. It's not a big deal. So don't make it a big deal if you guys are smokers and you don't like the fact that you can't smoke in here because it's fine. The casino's right there. And now we're back to the Carnegie Deli, which is a great place for some fast eats. So if you're just looking for something to munch on, uh, Carnegie actually is a great place just to get some quick sandwiches, enjoy yourself there. I might drop by there today too. There are just so many good like food options here. You know, it kills me. So many food options. Uh, Las Vegas Burger is down this uh, whole little boulevard over here too. So they got some pretty decent beer selections and they actually make a pretty good veggie burger. So if anyone's interested in a veggie burger, uh, Wendy has actually duly informed me that they make one hell of a veggie burger, so that's always a good thing to know. And then of course we come to the famous Rum Bar. Rum Bar is, I mean, I just love the way they promote this place. I've been to other hotels that have been promoting the Rum Bar just because they want people to go there, and it's got a great little spot. I'll go ahead and see if I can sneak in here. So I'm not sure if you guys can see from here. 
you can get inside and just chill in the air conditioning if it's ungodly hot like it is today because it's 90 something odd degrees. So there's that. And then you can also go outside too because they have an outside patio where you can just kind of chill. I'm at the mall section right now, so they didn't like me filming in the casino, so I had to stop there. I'm gonna go ahead and go check out the pool area, see if that's any good. Some more bathrooms over here by the Beatles Theater. And the Beatles shop is open too. It's actually just kind of a really cool area to be. Uh, you can't smoke in here either though. So if you're a smoker, put it out before you go in. Then you got some pretty serious uh, Beatles jams going too. Oh, and look at that. Like the walkthrough over here. This is so cool. And I think they have a little beverage section. And of course they have the yellow submarine shop in here. Gonna have to drop by here, pick up some stuff for the kids on the way out. That'd be cool. Uh, but they do have a food and beverage bar over here if you're hungry before you go to see Love. Love is the Beatles show here, a Cirque du Soleil show. Not quite as sexy as the other shows, but you know. And then of course this is just like the whole uh, the whole area. So before the show, this is where you're gonna be chilling, the little lobby section before you get your seats. Speaking of which, I have to get my ticket uh, for Zumanity all turned in because I got a ticket for it, my Vegas comp, and we're gonna use that.